we've been really kind of uh, able to change our treatment paradigms in CLL over recent years with the availability of frontline uh, BTK inhibitors and BCL2 inhibitors, and also the availability of both those agents in relapse disease. And so patients certainly now and in the future are able to often access these drugs um, without having been exposed to prior chemotherapy. Um, of course, there are patients who've had prior chemotherapy who then relapse and require each of these agents um, sequentially. But one thing, one thing we're starting to see in our clinics now is patients progressing through both of these two classes of drugs. And so a poster that I presented at the EHAR meeting was really looking at outcomes uh, following uh, progression through both of those two agents and really demonstrating that survival is pretty limited, particularly in people who haven't had therapy following this. But if you look at the whole population, there are over 200 patients in this, in this study. Uh, the, the median survival was just over a year. So really demonstrating this is an area to focus on uh, in the future. And this certainly demonstrates a, a group of patients that are now defined as a high-risk CLL population.